Hello, hello, hello. I am excited. You are welcome back to the channel. And my name is always Rose Keldy, and this is the Rose Keldy Ministry platform i said i am excited why because the god that we serve is a god of solution anytime we pray to him the bible says he's the god that answers prayer i am a living testimony i always say that i will not come to this platform and tell you something that i do not know i will not tell you something that i do not practice i have said in my previous video that Anytime I have a problem and I've seen that this one is a spiritual problem and I have gone or I have started an encounter, I am, I am, I am, you know, I, I want to see deliverance. I will do what I need to do and I will see results before I stop. So today I'm going to share with you the solution to what demons that steals money. I want you to terminate their cases. I want you to terminate their plans. And today, by the help of God, by the help of experience, you are going to know these things that you need to do to see your deliverance. If you want something like this, please stay tuned after this short commercial break. <music> Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am going to share with you the solution to the to, to terminate that demon, to get yourself free from that demon that is stealing your money, that is robbing you, and that is making you to put it into debt and make you lack financially. Today we are two months. Baby is two months, baby light is two months, and uh, we cannot sleep. We need to work for God. And we are doing our assignment so don't be bothered about this yes the work still have to go on so I want to share the first you know solution that is the fervent prayer of the righteous my goodness the continuous the consistency of your prayer and fasting that is the first of all you will know that the Bible says, as for this one, it will take what? Prayer and fasting. Not me, oh, I did not say this. Jesus said this, and I testify to that. Because when I found myself in that place, this was exactly what I was doing. I was fasting, and I was praying consistently. I never gave up. Whenever I see something, I follow up. So in this deliverance, if you are not a prayerful person, I want you to start now. Start now. And if you cannot do it, find and get a help. Get someone, some, your pastor, your spiritual leader, your intercessors. Let them support you. You can go to them. You can pray with you. You can, you can try to do it yourself. Because the more you do it, the more you become used to. I am not the type that knows how to pray. In fact, when I was told to join the intercessors, at the time I was told to start praying, I don't know how to pray. I can't even pray for five minutes. But today, to God be the glory, I can stand on my feet for hours and hours, and I will not be tired. That is where I want you to start from. Your fervent prayer, your continuous, not giving up, your persistent, your consistency, your, 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 your sacrifice. You need to sacrifice your prayer. You need to go there on your prayer altar and cry to God to intercede. I told you that it got to a time, I will even when I'm at school, after I finish that course, I will go on break. My time of break I, I go and lie down on the floor and I will cry unto God. I will cry unto God. I will cry to, to, to come true for me. And today I am a living testimony. He has truly came true. To God be the glory. That is the number one thing. I want you to do number two. Number two solution. At the time I was doing this deliverance, I didn't know about midnight prayer. Getting up at 12 midnight, I didn't know about it. But I have seen the midnight prayer brought me a lot of results. So I want you to add the midnight prayer to your, your this solution.
to getting delivered from the hands of this demon. Yes. Get up at midnight. The same prayer you are praying, pray it at midnight. Give the demons to, the, to God to deal with. Call on God to release the power like the way Solomon did. The Bible says Solomon prayed day and night to ask God to give him the power over the demon. And exactly that is what God did. And whatever you need to, to overcome that demon, God will give it to you. God will give it to you in your dream. Or God will give it to you in your vision. Or God will give it to you in his word. So you need to what? To do your midnight prayer. Because when you do the midnight prayer, that is the times that demons work, they will pray. I hope this is helping you. My sister, I said, I will not say something here that I have not practiced myself. I have, thousands, I have, I have, I have numerous testimony waking up at midnight. How I wish I knew this at that time. That I'll be able, while I was fasting, I will also pray at midnight. It would have fasting my prayer. It would have fasting my result. But again, at the end of the day, I have got a result. That is the most important thing. So I want you to add a midnight prayer, especially at 12 midnight, 12 a.m. Get up at 12 a.m. and pray. That leads us to the number three. The number three solution to your problem is that you are going to be doing good to the needy. You will go to the orphanage. The little that you have, you are going to share with them. Because there is a blessing in giving that receiving. When you are showing God these signs, in God, you know, when you give to the needy and you go to the orphanage, the widows, there is a blessing that comes with it. God has promised us a blessing. I'll leave the scripture on the screen for you to read. And one of the scripture or one of the benefits is to protect your wealth, is to protect your money, is to protect your income. So when you are doing this, God is going to protect you from that demon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope somebody is learning. I know it's not easy, especially if you are not used to giving. If you are not used to doing these exercises, it's very difficult. I also had to start from somewhere. I also had to start from somewhere because I used to give to people, but I didn't know the benefit of giving to those orphanages, those needy, those street children, looking out for them. They will not come to you. You have to look for them. And sometimes your, your, your family members who are in need, they will even come, they will call you, but you will think that they are a problem to you and you will not want to help them. Please do. When you start helping them, you will see that God automatically will be protecting your money. Even if at this moment you are watching my video and you are not going under any stealing or any demon stealing your money, one of the things that you do to increase financially is to give to the needy. When you start doing that, doors will be open and you will not even understand. That leads me to number four. If you are being robbed by the devil, by the demons, stealing your money, putting you into debt, unnecessary debt, making sure that you are in luck, there is no money coming into your account. Even the one that comes is not up to the end of the month. The money is finished. You cannot enjoy life. You cannot help others because you don't have. And you have found out some signs and some dreams. And God is telling you that the enemy is against you. This is one of the things that you need to do to come out from that enemy. To get delivered out of that the hands of the enemy. To, to terminate their plans against you. Ask for spiritual direction whenever you are praying. Because these demons... They have things that when you do, they will run away from you for life. I'm telling you, I am studying demons, which I will bring to you some other day. But today I am telling you that there are things that when you do it, that demon will flee away from you and will never come to you. But you can only get this direction through the realms of the spirit by you asking God to give you that direction. Because every demon has something that you have to do 
to, to let them free you. But I cannot tell you that it is the marine that is what is 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 is, is stealing from you, or it is Onias that is stealing from you. Which, who is which is the demon that I have encountered? Maybe there are other demons that are responsible for this. But then you need God. You need God to show you this demon, this direction, the prophetic direction you need to what you need to do. Because I remembered in my time. God was showing me in dreams and in fiction the things that I need to do. He was showing me pictures. He was showing me the source of my problem, the demon that was responsible. So when you ask for God for direction, he's going to give you this direction and your life will be what? Will be free for, for forever from these demons. Hallelujah. Let's give glory to God. Is God not wonderful? He never leaves us for, not for seekers. One thing I want you to understand that God did not promise us a problem free, but he has promised us to be with us in all times, in all circumstances, including this one. So when you are in need, you need to run to him. When you have seen these signs, when you are seeing these dreams, you need to go to him. I said, you, you, you have told me, Lord, my God, you've told me that whenever I am in need, I should call on to you and you will come to rescue me. You said I should ask and it shall be given to me. So today, I want you to show me. I want you to tell me. I want you to direct me. Give me what I need to do in order to be set free. Hallelujah. That takes us to the next one. You know, when I was studying about this demons on the, 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 the testament made me understand the angel he's afraid of. The archangel he's afraid of. And in that statement, he says that he's afraid of, 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 of Uriel. I will put the name Archangel Uriel. I will, again, I'll put it. That's how I pronounce it. So that if you if you see the name, you can also research and know about more about this archangel. Because God gave Solomon the power to overcome the demons in the air, the demons on the earth, and the demons under the earth. So, whenever he, he called you, or whenever he summoned you, he will ask you your name, he will ask you your duty, your, your business here on earth, he will ask you which demon you are afraid of, he will ask you what you, you dislike, when you do it, or when the person do it, you will, it will affect you, you will, that demon will run away, he, he will ask you all these questions. And when Solomon asked him, the angel, the, the, the Onias was afraid of, afraid of was the angel Uriel. As again, I don't know which demon is troubling you. If it's these two demons, if, it, if it's these demons that I have encountered, especially if it, I have encountered a marine spirit, but I know about the Onias, and that's what I'm saying, that ask God to show you the angel responsible for this demon. Because Onias, I am learning, I am, I am telling you from what I have learned, okay? When Onias, uh, uh, Solomon asked Onias, he told that whenever a real is around, he cannot come near there. And the, and, and the testament says that when Uriel came, he cast down his destiny. And when he cast down his destiny, then the, the demon just obeyed everything that, that, that the Uriel was tell, told him to do. And he was part of those demons that built the temple of God. He came to steal, but now God is punishing him by building his temple. And one thing, another thing that I want to share with you that this demon is afraid of is metal, uh, iron. You know, you can see that in those days, in the old days, when you are losing your money and you have, you have seen us, I've shared with you in my previous video, some of the reasons or some of the signs. One of the signs is that you will find out that your money is missing, especially in those days, there is no bank. They put their, they keep their money at home. But when you find out that your money is missing or you are that market woman that when you go to market, you know, they normally put a coin on their money. It is spiritual. You know, the things that our forefathers were doing, it's not like they were demonic. It's not like they were satanic or they were, they were practicing demon or, de uh, I don't know how to put it, but it was wisdom that God gave them. And this demon confirmed it. This Onias is afraid of irons. So then I understood that, yes, this is what 
the, our forefathers was practicing. They put, they pray on the, the, the coin and they put it on their money. And their money will be there. Oh, you can also do this. Pray if you are the type that keep your money. I don't keep money at home. I keep money in the bank. But if you keep money at home, this is one of the things that you can do. Pray on that coin, that iron, and put it on your money. Use God. It's God that is that is the is God that 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 iron belongs to God. The, the Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And everything that is on this earth is in this earth, is upon this earth, belongs to God. That iron belongs to God. It, it will only be demonic when you call demonic powers or demonic spirit on it. Me, I believe in God. And I know you that you are watching me, you also believe in God. So you will call the name of the Lord upon that coin and you will watch and see that your money will be there i think this is enough try to do in fact all these things that i've shown you i have done fasting and prayer i have done the spiritual direction and i've seen results at least i i wasn't praying for angels but i know angels are there and they work and i believe in angels but at the time i was doing this i didn't have that knowledge now I have this knowledge, that's why I'm adding it to you, because it will fasten your prayers. It will fasten your prayers. So please, this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you have learned something. I hope God has taught you something. I hope you have taken something that you would add to your spiritual life that will bring you prosperity, that will elevate you, and that will take you to your expected end. God richly bless you. With this, I will see you in my next video. Shalom. Peace.